Well, here it is. It's actually a word. Oh, my God. That's, that's, he's got a double word score, seven-letter word. He wins again. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh, landlady. Hello there, Henderson. Ah, you're looking especially chipper today, landlady. Would you drag a water buffalo down or something? <laughs> The date, February 16th, 1998, mean anything to you? February 16th? Hey, we didn't come to some kind of agreement that if neither one of us were married by that time, we'd get together, <laughs> right? It's the day you signed your lease. Now it's up and I get to raise your rent. Oh, uh, I, I, I can't afford this. Good, then I picked the right figure. <laughs> now, this is where you're going to live. Of course, you have to imagine it without the furniture and that skinny white thing standing there. Um, well, you don't want to live here, you know. You know, there, 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 there are rats. We got rats here. That's right. Hey, look at the size of that one. Look at that rat. Let me handle this. Look, toots. I don't think you have any idea who you're messing with. I know a bunch of people in this town, and I can introduce you to a world of hurt. Shut your damn mouth. That, uh, that really only works on little kids. Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. You have to give me another chance. It wasn't that bad. You suggested a menage a trois with your ex fiance I've apologized like a million times. Look, Danny, I liked you because you were sensitive. And you turned out to be this macho pig. It's the old bait and switch. You go to the store to buy the TV they advertise, and they try to sell you a menage a trois. I, I only suggested that you both date me at the same time, which was wrong of me. I really am a sensitive guy. Okay, look, I don't have time for this right now. I have a meeting of my women's group upstairs. I'll go with you. Please. You don't care about my women's group? I do, too. I am a feminist. You are not. I am, too. I, I've read every book by Betty Crocker. Friedan! Betty Friedan! I said Friedan! Okay, come if you want. I don't care. Oh, hey, sir, sir. I was going through my cases, and I realized how much money I've been saving the city. Check this out. Mr. Crawford here. He could have been on public assistance forever, but after consulting with me, he jumped off the George Washington Bridge. Uh, what, uh, what, what are you getting up there, Norm? Well, sir, uh, quite frankly, I've worked here for uh, two years, and uh, I demand a raise. Well, okay. <laughs> Okay, that's it? Yeah, sure, it's, it has been a, it's been a long time. Uh, on that case, I demand a pony. A, po a, po a, po a pony? A raise, a raise is good, just a raise. Yeah, a raise is fine. Uh, listen, everybody, I got some wonderful news. My dog, Fifi, is pregnant. Congratulations, sir, I knew you had it in you. Hey, Norm. Remember a few months back when you brought Wiener Dog to the office? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Mr. Denby brought in Fifi? Sure, yeah. Well, didn't they end up spending a lot of time together? Yeah, yeah, they did play together a lot, didn't they? I should have seen this coming. That's what happens when you let animals walk around naked. If those puppies come out half dachshund, Demby's gonna take away your raise. Oh, my God. Oh, damn it, old margarita. Why didn't you show me this before? What is it? 
Well, it says I have to be in a management conference in Buffalo all next week. I, I, I'm not going to go. I'm going to call in sick. I, I want to be here when Fifi gives birth. Go with me on this. Mr. Denby, I think it's wonderful that you're going to be able to see Fifi have her puppies. Have you ever watched a dog give birth before? Well, no, actually, no. Yeah, it's really cute when the, when the puppies come out in their little blood-filled bags. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, and then... The mother slowly eats all the blood, and, and uh, it's a wonder she has any room left over in her tummy for that placenta. <laughs> what kind of a god would create a thing like that? Well, sir, if it's that upsetting to you, I'm sure that the two of us could handle the birth part for you. I, I think that'd be best. You know, I'm not, I, I wasn't in town when my own kids were born. In fact, I, 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 I'm not so sure I was there for the conception. <laughs> All right, so, so what's your plan? Okay, well, we have to do is find a pregnant poodle who's going to give birth around the same time as Fifi. Right. Then we replace Fifi's mongrel puppies with the poodle puppies before Denby gets back into town. That's a great plan. Yeah, I had a plan, too, but yours is better. Mine involved nerve gas. <laughs> hey, what's Fifi doing here? Well, I didn't want to leave her at home. I think she might be going into labor. Hey, uh, Laurie, I, I gotta talk to you about this whole Shelly thing. It's, it's really driving me crazy. Yeah, I'm really busy right now, Danny. I mean, I, I've been doing all this girl stuff with Shelly all week long just to prove to her that I'm a feminist. Yesterday, we went to this seminar where they gave us a small hand mirror and told us to befriend our genitalia. <laughs> well, you can never have too many friends. Hey, guys, check it out. I got a pregnant poodle Whoa! for the pound. <laughs> I tell you, down at that pound, they have the coolest animals. I almost bought a chimp, but I knew we had work to do, so. So? When is it due? Ah, well, the guy said any day now, and the, and the good part is, the father was a poodle, too, so the, the babies will be purebred poodles. Why would anybody drop off a pregnant poodle at the pound? Well, that's the good news. This dog attacked a neighbor's toddler. Here you go. <laughs> So listen, where's Fifi, anyway? Fifi is in the counseling room, because she's going to drop those puppies any minute now. Danny, could you give me a hand in there? No, I got to go. I got tickets to the vagina monologues. <laughs> oh, my God. Are they speaking now? <laughs> Norm, get in here. Fifi started having the puppies. First puppy's coming out. It's got a poodle face. Hey, did you ever consider maybe wiener dog's not the father? Oh my God, that would be great. It's still poodle. Still poodle. Still... Oh, no, it's wiener dogs. Oh, uh, hey, where, where, where is everybody? Oh, crap, the old man's here. My, my God, sir, what are you doing here? Oh, wow, I just I felt guilty about being separated from my Fifi. <laughs> oh, my God, she's here? I, I, I gotta see her. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea, sir. Absolutely. Uh, actually, we need you because uh, one of the puppies is stuck in the birth canal. You can, you can get up there and pull it out. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no. All right, all right. Well, I'll tell you what happened. What? Hey, he wants to see the dog. Yeah. First thing we got to do is get rid of this poodle. I'll just shove him in a drawer. I feel like just saying, I just gotta be here for her. Let me see those baby poodles. Ah, here it is, sir. Here it is. <laughs> There's only one, but it's a huge bouncing but it's, thing. But it's bigger than Fifi. Ah, yeah, yeah. Well, it came out in pieces. Lori and I just assembled it. <laughs> that doesn't that, that that doesn't make any sense. What what have you done with Fifi? It's like... Oh. 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 Wait, wait a minute. Those don't look like purebred poodles. They're, they're, they're part dachshund. <laughs> Wiener dog. Wiener dog's the father. Well, 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 sir, look at the bright side. Hey, hey, in a way now we're both related, we you know? <laughs> uh, by the way, I think we should have Thanksgiving at, at your house this year. Because... I'm not going to have anything to do with these half-breeds. They're your responsibility. Hey, listen, this won't affect my raise at all. You're it, not it? getting a penny, not a penny. Not if your mongrel defiled my Fifi. Hey, I don't think Fifi was so innocent in all of this either. You know, you don't shave your ass like that unless you're looking for something. <laughs>
You know, I have other plans to do with my life. You know, I was going to go back to school. <laughs> ah, there you go, little buddy. Mr. Oh, no, Denby, I'm... what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. Well, I thought there was a little rash and uh, having you take the puppies home, I thought I should apologize. You know, you look tired now. Maybe I should take the puppies off your hand. You're gonna make a coat out of them, aren't you, sir? <laughs> no, of course not. Now that I see the little guys again, I realize how special they are. I'll give you a hundred bucks a piece. Because I love them so much. <laughs> Why do I not believe you, sir? Wait a minute, I know why. Love. That's why you said you love them. You're incapable of love, sir. <laughs> Somebody's paying you money for this. Who's the buyer, sir? All right, all right. I found him on the internet, but you'll never get his name. Really? Nah, the joke's on you. I've got another one of those at home. Uh, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> $2,000? A dog? Sir, I thought these doodles were worthless. No, it turns out these uh, species rarely breed, and this guy uh, had one of the little half-breeds when he was a kid. Sir, this is excellent. I'll be able to pay my rent now. Yeah, half and half. We'll split it, sir. No, no, no deal. No, no. I'm the owner of the mother. They're legally mine. What? Well, you're not getting them. No, I gotta pay my rent. No way. And besides which, Wiener Dog is very protective of his brood. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Wiener Dog, wake up, man. This concerns you. You're not getting these dogs. I'll see you in court, Henderson. Yeah, well, you'll lose in court, sir, because remember, possession is nine-tenths of the law. Well, then I'll just take the dogs right now, huh? All right, listen, sir. I don't want to put the dogs through this trauma. I'll give you the dogs, all right? But uh, just let me say goodbye to them. Just wait in the hallway there. Sucker. <laughs> oh. I forgot to close the door. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Because that would take forever. The Judge Mills Lane show said they'd take us right away. And Denby's going along with all this? Well, why wouldn't he go along with it? Just because it's on TV doesn't mean it's any less real. Look, this court has the same rigorous standards of jurisprudence as any courtroom in this country. Plus, if you lose, you got a nice set of luggage. <laughs> there he is, the horny little bastard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought you could be the one woman of my life who wouldn't get pregnant by a stranger. All righty, we're going to start the show in a minute, so I want to go over the rules. Don't interrupt Judge Lane, and don't look directly into the camera. All right, everyone, here we go. In five, four, three, two... Come to order. All rise. Appreciate it. This is case 1712 on the calendar in the matter of Denby versus Henderson. All parties have been sworn in, Your Honor. Bailiff. All right, we have a case of feudal ownership of three dachshund poodle puppies. All right, let's get it on. Mr. Henderson, present your case. Yes, Judge Mills Lane. Well, uh, the important thing here is that I can take better care of the puppies than Mr. Denby can. I will provide them with a warm and loving environment along with Wiener Dog. <laughs> Yes, I can tell how much you care by the time and effort you put in naming your dog. Well, no, no, sir. I really would be better than Mr. Denby as a father. Uh, 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 Artie's with me all the time. He can attest to it. Is he your lover? Sure, if that would please the court, yes. Sir, speak, please. Uh... Your Honor, I, I believe that Norm here would make a much better daddy to these little puppies than uh, Mr. Oh, oh, I looked into the camera. I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to do that. Ah, I did it again! They're everywhere! How many of these things do you have? Cut! Take care. All right, let's, let's resume. Let's press on. Go ahead. 
All right, well, uh, well, sir, uh, I think this is a good time, Your Honor, for me to present my surprise witness. Oh, oh, no! You have an objection, Mr. Denby? He's brought my son here to testify that I'm not a good parent. Well, that's, that's not true. I'm a kind, I'm a loving, I'm an attentive parent. Oh, sir, 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 this isn't your son. It's, it's an expert on dogs, sir. Oh, well, how was I supposed to know that, sir? I, I, I haven't seen the little freak since I threw him out of the house about a, 20 years ago. Listen, both of you are wasting your time and who would be the better parent? It's the proper issue. Normally, the owner of the father gets the pick of the litter. The owner of the mother gets the rest of the puppies. Unless, of course, Mr. Denby gave the puppies to you. Well, yes. Yes, sir. He did give them to me. Yes. When, when we were in the counseling room, he said to me, I don't want anything to do with these half-breeds. They're your responsibility. I never said that. Really, sir? You never said that? Never. So then, if I had actually... Uh, recorded you saying that in the counseling room. And uh, I would have played that recording back. We wouldn't hear you say clearly, sir, that I had ownership of the puppies. Is that what you are saying here today before God and Judge Mills Lane? Mr. Henderson, come up here a minute. That's a candy bar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's a candy bar. Well, he's never going to believe that's a tape recorder. Oh, yeah, he will. I know this guy. I've been, the, I've been the judge a long time, and I'm telling you. All right, all right, you got me. I gave him the dogs. <laughs> Boy, is he going to be steam when he sees this on TV. <laughs> Peter Doug, I got great news, man. The guy's coming over right now. He's going to buy the puppies, and we're going to be rich. <laughs> well, not rich, but we will be indoors. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Don't tell me you're growing attached to them now, wiener dog. Come on there, huh? Hey, they're, they're just dogs. Oh, I forgot you're a, you're a dog, too. Well... <laughs> ah, I bet this is the guy now. Ah. Landlady, what are you doing here? Henderson, I just stopped by to see how much of your security deposit you were going to get back. I took a picture when you moved in so I could compare. This is Buckingham Palace. <laughs> Yeah, you're not getting much back. Well, the joke's on you, landlady, because I'm coming in as some money soon, big money. I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, you'll see it. I'll pay your dastardly rent. You know what? You should uh, grow your mustache long so you can twirl it at the end. <laughs> you're the funniest homeless man I know. Hi, landlady. I'll be glad not to see your ass, too. So, uh, the guy didn't come back yet? Good, because I wanted to see the puppies one last time. Well, what's the matter with Wiener Dog? He looks so down. Oh, no, no, no. He's not down. No. Uh, that's the, uh, the... The breed is is a melancholy one, you know? Some say it's chronically depressed because of its short legs. Oh. Well, he's obviously gotten attached to the puppies. Huh? Well, I can't shelter him forever. Listen, it's about time Wiener Dog learns that sometimes in life you must, uh, you know, sell your loved ones. <laughs> Hi, I'm here for the puppies. Oh, great, yeah. Oh, Norm, this is breaking my heart. This is like watching Sophie's Choice on Animal Planet. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, jeez. Uh, uh, yeah, listen, uh, I can't go through with it. Uh, I can't do this to my dog, you know? Maybe if it was a child, it'd be different. But... Are you sure, bud? You know, I found another set of doodles upstate, so this is your last chance. Well, it's a lot of money, $6,000. You know, I could pay rent with this, but, uh... But, well, there's some things in life that you, you just can't do, even for money, so... Listen, uh, how about if I sexually pleased you in some manner? <laughs> Wiener dog, it's okay. Look at him. Hey, your puppies are right up here. Is that, huh? You're okay. You don't. Look, he was going after this this chew toy. He wasn't missing these little puppies at all. <laughs> oh, 
be that bad, Norm. You'll find some place to stay. Hey, what about that song, YMCA? That sounded like a fun place. <laughs> Everybody, listen up here. We got five adorable creatures that are looking for a home. There's only three puppies. Well, I was including myself and Wiener Doc. Oh, your landlady threw you out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just because I didn't pay my rent. You know, I, I looked on that as a monthly goodwill gesture I gave her, but she's... She's really come to expect it now. And what are you going to do? Well, I've made some temporary arrangements. Uh, by the way, don't go in the counseling room, all right? Because I'm living there now. <laughs> and I may very well be naked, so knock first. <laughs>